In this related rates problem, we have an inverted pyramid that's being filled with water at a constant rate of 40, 40 cubic centimeters per second. At the top, the, it's a square uh, with length 2 centimeters and its height is 5. Find the rate at which the water level is rising when the water level is 2 centimeters. So let's get a drawing of our pyramid. So it's got a square top and a total height of 5 and this thing is 2 by 2 so maybe the the, the uh, water is right here so we can kinda get an idea of what's going on so there's our water now what we would like to do is uh, we're looking at um, water being pumped in at 40 cubic centimeters per second. So what that is in our calculus notation is a dV dt of the water. It's 40. We want to find the rate that the height is increasing. We haven't introduced variables, but I'll use h for height and v for volume. That's what we're looking for when the height is 2 centimeters. Now if we were to look at this pyramid from the side, directly from the side we'd see a triangle and then here's our water now here this big triangle is 5 by 2 we've called the height of this thing H and let's call this width here X two things now come out of our drawing number one is I can create a formula now that I've got some labels in here for the volume of the water it's very similar to a cone it's one third times the area of the base, which is remember this is a 3D. I didn't. I'm thinking of it in two dimensions, but this here is x and this is x. So the area of that base is x squared, and then a height of h. So I can create that. Now I've got two variables in here. The other thing I can get out of my drawing is I have similar triangles because I have a triangle inscribed inside another triangle. So I can relate the ratio of the sides. So x is to h as 2 is to 5. All right, nice property of similar triangles. You see that a lot in related rates and optimization problems. Further, I can solve this for x. So x equals 2 fifths h. And right there, I've got my substitution to get x out of this formula and, h, and get it all in terms of h. Now, one of the things I see happen a lot when you sub this in, the 2 fifths h all has to be squared. That gets missed. Sometimes people forget to square this factor out front, so don't forget that part. So we have 1 third times 4 20 fifths h cubed, or let's clean it up one more step, 4 over 75 h cubed, which now makes it very easy to find our dv dt. So dv dt equals 4 over 75. Now we take the derivative. So 3h squared times dh dt. We can do a little bit of simplifying this right here. Now we can go ahead and plug in our values. So dv dt we said was 40. So I have 40 equals 4 over 25 times h squared, so we were doing it specifically when the height was 2 centimeters, so 2 squared, and again dh dt is what we're looking for. So we have 40 equals 16 over 25 times dh dt, squaring the 2 gives you 4 times 4 over 25 is 16 over 25, and last step is to solve We'll multiply both sides by the reciprocal, so 25 over 16 times 40 gives us our dh dt. And if we multiply that out, well, we can simplify a little bit here. That becomes a 2, that becomes a 5. We get 125 over 2. And now the units, here's what's nice about this notation. I, can, I don't have to memorize anything. The units come right from here dh, h was measured in centimeters, and dt, time was, uh, time was in seconds, so this is centimeters per second.